You know, several years ago, I was listening to a very interesting video presentation by a well-known author, Robert Kiyosaki. And uh, he said this, made this statement, if we gave a hundred people $10,000 today, told them to do business with it or whatever they want, and came back and checked a year later to find out what would happen, statistically, this is what would happen. One year later, about 80 of those people would have zero left. About 16 of them would have about $10,500 or about the amount that you might get if you put the money in the bank at interest. But four of those people would have multiplied that money somewhere from between $20,000 and $1 million. And the question is, what do the 4% know that the 96% don't know? Are they really any smarter? The answer is no. Do they have any more time available? The answer is no. And uh, what I discovered when I began thinking about this is that 4% actually know five critical biblical principles come right out of the Bible that most people don't know. And you know, even people that are not Christians, people who never read the Bible, Wealthy people who are part of that 4%, whether they're Christians or not, understand and implement these five principles. Let me share one of them with you. Here's the very first thing that those 4% do. They never put all their money in one pot, spend out of the pot, and then try to give, save, and invest. You know what that 4% do? They divide their money into very specific categories, and this is what they do. They give first, they save second, they invest third, and they spend what's left. What the 4% do is limit their spending intentionally and purposefully to only a percentage of their income, and they give, save, and invest first. And uh, everybody else spends first and then tries to give, save, and invest. If you're one of the ones who's always put your money into one pot and spent and paid all your bills first, and then try to give, save, and invest, you know how difficult it is to, to, to even give to any kind of charity or your church or anything that might be on your heart. It's difficult to give when you spend first. But when you give, save, and invest first and spend what's left, it changes everything. This is just one of the principles that I've included in a book that a friend of mine, Earl Pitts, and I wrote called Wealth, Riches, and Money. You can check out the other principles that are in that book as well as that one at our website, www.familyfoundations.com.